This, we believe, is the motorcade carrying North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. It left uh, Changi International Airport about half an hour ago with him, we think, in his armoured Mercedes, which I haven't seen yet. This looks like it's the advance guard. Here comes his uh, limousine now at the back, flying the North Korean flag. Oh, here, here, here. So we think this is the car that is carrying Kim Jong-un, arriving here in the centre of Singapore, going into the St Regis Hotel behind me here, um, which is where the North Korean delegation is staying. This is really the beginning of the biggest diplomatic event for this small city-state in its history, and also, of course, probably the biggest diplomatic event for North Korea in a very, very long time, since the Korean War, maybe. Um, Kim Jong-un arrived on a Chinese aircraft. We weren't sure which plane he was going to come on. In the end, it turned out he went on a Chinese 747 that flew to Pyongyang this morning, picked him up, and then has brought him here. And after his arrival here, we're, of course, also waiting for the arrival of President Donald Trump. He is on his way from Crete, now on Air Force One. He's expected to land here this evening. And then this extraordinary diplomatic event gets underway. First, both of these leaders are going to meet with the Singaporean Prime Minister, and then the big event, the main event, the really historic event, is the meeting between the Kim Jong-un, the North Korean leader, and President Trump on Tuesday morning, the first time that a leader from North Korea and a sitting US president have ever met. An enormous diplomatic event, breakthrough, Trump has said this is a one-time shot for peace on the Korean Peninsula. So there's a lot riding on what happens here in Singapore 